My name is George Grimley and today in this video we're going to be talking about tourism in Belfast and also city sightseeing in Belfast. Welcome to Profile 3 TV and today we're joined by George Grimley from Belfast City Sightseeing Tours. So thank you very much for coming in and talking to us today. Uh, again, a, 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 an experience uh, that I've personally enjoyed uh, yeah. two or three times actually I have to say. I normally when I bring friends to Belfast I, I like to take them and uh, yeah. get them around the city. And do you so learn any of them? Actually I was blown away. The for, actually the, the first two times, I, I'd say every year, every time, the first two times was amazing. I, I was shocked uh, by everything we learned. Um, so quite an experience. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. No, there's nothing more rewarding to a tour guide when somebody local gets off and says, God, I didn't know didn't about know. that. Yeah. Know. You know, and it's so, I know we were talking briefly before, so we went away and moved abroad for 11, 11 years. Mm -hmm. And we come home, so never done anything here. And probably like most people, you don't uh, explore your doorstep. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're so used to it. And we went away for 11 years and actually missed here so much that when we come home, uh, we're so excited to actually go and explore. Right, the and North see this, that's actually see what happened. Again, yeah. And uh, that's what actually got us on the, on the, the tour. So just to yeah. see, and uh, exactly as you say, blown away. Don't know yeah. half of what's on the doorstep. Actually, that's when you get, it's around about Christmas time you get, a lot of locals on it because they've got visitors and you know family and friends that may have been away for for several years and they come along with them and then they get off and go I've never done that before incredible you know? so i'm so excited I, I, <laughs> I didn't even start my first question so i'll let you introduce yourself and, and tell us a little bit about your business please okay um my name is george grimley uh, i'm a director and one of the owners of of uh, city sites in belfast um the brand has been in Belfast from 2002. Um, we took it over in 2010. Um, and Belfast was still, it was emerging, should I say. Um, so we're still building on tourism. Um, at that time we had two buses uh, and we were operating every hour, every hour and a half. Um, and that was enough at that time, but very, very quickly. Um, things changed. We're we're up to a fleet of thirteen double deckers now, um, and even then we we struggled during the summer with capacity. Yeah, incredible, and I guess the future. You see the future for tourism here, even better. Oh, most definitely. Um, you, we were just talking in the office today. Um, the amount of demand uh, come from all over the world, all over the world. You know, um, the cruise ships, the additional cruise ships, we're planning for next year, twenty nineteen. Uh, in 2010, there was 35 cruise ships. This year, there was 118. And next year, there's 150 booked in already. So um, Belfast is very much on the, the tourism map. It's incredible, isn't it? And for the few people that don't know, and especially the locals, uh, so what, what's the experience? What, what do you offer uh, for someone? From well, City Sites in Belfast offers as much as we can. Uh, it's not just city tours, although um, with the city tour, uh, we offer uh, 30 minute most frequent departures, 30 minute departures. We offer multilingual in six languages. Um, we've got the four star accreditation from the Northern Ireland Tours Board. Um, we have the brand, which is extremely important to us um, because people identify with that brand. And when they arrive in Belfast, if they've had a good tour somewhere else, they'll definitely go with us. That's the thinking. Of the brand and it works um, but we also do day tours to Giants Causeway um, we do daily Game of Thrones tours this year or th this year has been phenomenal um, today middle of December we're sold out for day tours full coaches um, so the demand is still there it's 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 becoming all year round now which is incredible and I actually didn't know until you told me that you did Day tours, day trips. Yeah, yeah, we do day trips. Uh, we do guide supply where other tour operators will come into Belfast. You'll see the coaches about Belfast, um, and there'll be foreign coaches. They'll hire the guides off us, so we'll put a guide on their bus. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that 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 we do. That people don't see. And again, I'm thinking of employment as well here. You know, summertime, all the young people I'm thinking looking for money is brilliant to see. That. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, absolutely. You know, we 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 employ we employ seventy people now, um, and that's all year round. And then in the summer, we we we'll probably take on another thirty odds on top of that. 
you know, so the employment is is very important. Fundamental, and and uh, very exciting to hear that uh, it's so strong in winter as well, because you think, and a lot of places still would would be summer trade and then close in winter, but actually, things no, are changing. we've we 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 have made it an all year business. Um, the thing is. City City in Belfast is quite unique in that if you go to another city, Glasgow, Edinburgh, City City is always a bolt on to their transport. Um, so the that company will main main revenue is public transport and they'll just bolt the City City in onto that. Whereas we have made it it's a standalone business. It's an all year round business and that's why we, we need to continually work and we, we find that winter winter work. Um for the locals, I mean, we, we run Santa buses uh, at this time of the year, at Christmas. Uh, we also do Halloween tours for locals. So we're always looking for that, that business to, to generate the finance over the, the winter as well. I didn't know about the Santa buses, so I'm yeah. definitely probably too late. <sighs> no, well, well, we're running for the next couple of days. Brilliant. I need um, to get my skates on. <laughs> no, absolutely. We actually run two Santa buses. We do one that's like a mobile grotto. Uh, and that will go out to community groups, schools, if you're having a street party. But we also do a public uh, uh, Santa bus that goes up to Aunt Sanders Sweet Factory. And there's a show on there and the proceeds, you know, the part of the proceeds go to Northern Ireland Hospice as well. So we're, we're trying to put a press uh, around that. And yeah. that was quite a, quite a partnership as well. So yeah, yeah. Two great names in Belfast there. So h how did you become involved in this sector? Well, um, well... I always worked, I was a bus driver for 15 years, um, working for TransLink, uh, and then they started going into the tours. Uh, around about 1995, the, a lot of people don't realise TransLink were the first ones to do the city tours. Um, I did that for a few years, and then, as I say, City Sightseeing came, th came in 2002. Uh, I enjoyed what I was doing, it was the tourism, it was involved in market, um, it was great to be talking to people from all around the world. It was unique to Belfast, you know. So uh, I joined City Sightseeing in 2003 uh, and I worked with them and that, that company went out of business in 2010 and I was lucky enough to be offered the franchise then in 2010 and we took that on. Very good. And what a what a wise decision that was. Yeah, it was. You know, it was a it was a it was a big. It was, it's been a huge trip. You know, um, in two thousand and twelve, we actually we won the tender to open the Crumlin Road Jail, um, which was a huge experience. Um, so we opened the jail and we ran that for two years before we sold that on, um, and then we um, we got involved in a coach company. Uh, that coach company has evolved uh, and also we've just taken over a golf company, a golf transport company as well. Uh, we also own the Irish Tour Tickets okay. and that's a shop in the city centre. So it gives, um, for city sightseeing, it gives really a focal point for the customer. You know, when the customer checks in for their day tour, during the, they're checking in at a shop. It's not out on the street trying to find a coach or anything. Um, and Irish Tour Tickets has done extremely well. Cool. And, and where do you see the sector then uh, growing, uh, getting bigger now at all? The yeah, no, well, I think it has to. I think it, 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 it will by nature mm -hmm. uh, get a lot bigger. I mean, there's, I mean, the hotel rooms in Belfast, they've, they've just added 1,300 from the start of the year. So they have to be filled. Um, you've got large events coming to Belfast, the Open's coming next year. Uh, 2019, so um, we're, we're already completely booked up for that week. Amazing, and you've seen a lot of changes then since you started uh, your own journey? Oh, yeah, yeah, huge changes. I mean, starting with two buses and, and, and you're you're hoping to get, you know, half a dozen people on a bus um, to today where we're running 13 during the summer and even then you're, you're, you're stuck for capacity some days when a cruise ship's in and maybe it'd be in a Saturday. Um, the the way people purchase their tours has completely changed from from then as well. At that time, it was always cash on the street. Uh, people, if they were doing a city tour, they'd just pay you cash. Now it's pre-booked, so we're working with, with a lot of online travel agents, uh, and our focus is making that sale before they actually arrive in Belfast. Um, 
that that speeds up the process for us as well obviously because we're not dealing with money uh, they're just showing us a voucher we're scanning vouchers um, so quite a lot of the online travel agents when their voucher appears you scan it on your phone mm -hmm. that's sent straight to them and they that money's put straight in your bank incredible a lot of innovation then. yeah absolutely so, yeah incredible. Absolutely. You and there's more coming as well i mean we're looking at uh, augmented reality um, we're looking at, at uh, I've looked at maybe glasses you put a pair of glasses on and you're standing in Castle Place and you could be looking at Belfast Castle uh, in the 1800s yeah. and you know and, and you're in present day so the you know, technology is moving for, for tourism as well incredible and if anyone was contemplating coming to Northern Ireland or thinking of coming to Belfast uh, would you have a, a what was the best attractions or a pitch to bring anyone that's watching this that isn't from from here to come over? Belfast has something for everyone, really. You know, whether it's a family, you know, there's there's lots to do for kids, um, couples, people on their own traveling. Um, I mean, we've got Titanic Belfast, which won the the best visitor attraction in 2016. Um, we've got the Coast Road, which is the most scenic. Uh, coastal routes in, 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 in the world, uh, the Giant's Causeway, UNESCO, we've got Marble Arch Caves in Fermanagh, you know there's so much to do for city breaks, Belfast is, is, has some of the finest restaurants now, um, so lots to do in, as a city break or as an extended stay. Incredible. And, and yourselves then, how do you manage marketing your brand to people who aren't coming here, then you, you partner with Tour, tour companies there? Yeah, well, um, that's that's where the brand comes in. Extre it's extremely important for us because that brand is in 110 cities. So everybody is marketing for each other. Um, and then you have the global brand who markets for everyone. Um, but yeah, we, we, we work with online tour oper uh, operators. Um, for example, Booking.com, they'll, they'll translate our products into 40 different languages. Um, Viator has a has a marketing budget of three million per day. You know, how do you you, you, you can't do that? Well, give it give it another few years. And we'll be there. <laughs> well, we'll work like, it out. Who knows? Okay, yeah, but no, it's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good. Obviously, customer excellence. I've had a look at the mm -hmm. reviews and comments around the the tours, and um, how how do you maintain such a consistent standard of excellence? It's it, it's. It wasn't easy to set up. Uh, a few years ago, we we decided that we needed to be the best. Um, and how do we achieve that? So we worked very closely with um, Tourist uh, NI. Uh, and they were a great source to help us with. Mm -hmm. They have an accreditation scheme, uh, uh, which we were the first tour to, to go through. So it was a bit of, we were learning from both sides. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've great relationship with them. We achieved the four star accreditation, which we've we've uh, maintained year upon year. Um, we have great staff that are bought into the idea of being the best. Um, so it's it's not too hard at the minute. It was very hard to set up, um, and it was quite hard to get the staff to buy into. Um, a lot of staff were were. With, have been with us from 2002 and um, they have now made the shift that everything has changed um, and we are the best and it's getting through to them that we are the best and then once they, they accept that, it's relatively easy. Okay. So we, we look at everything, we have daily inspections for uniforms, uh, we look at the buses every single day, uh, if there's a defect with the bus, that bus is taken away, if there's a rip in the seat, it's taken off the road, it's repaired straight away, um, and it's all aimed at the, the customer satisfaction, the customer has to be, have the, the best experience. Cool. And that it pays dividends so many times over when you do It really it. does, when you look at reviews, people do look at reviews before they buy something. Um, our, our TripAdvisor uh, page is, is excellent. Um, we respond to every single review. If there's a negative one, we respond to that. We take it on board. Um, and likewise, for all the positive ones, we, we respond to everything. Mm -hmm. um, so we like to communicate. We have uh, feedback uh, forms where we'll, just periodically, we'll go on the bus with an iPad and we'll try and get as much feedback from the customers as we can. 
uh, if you make a booking with us, uh, a private hire, you'll then get a, a feedback uh, a few days after your hire, asking for your response, uh, comments, anything like that. So although you, you can put yourself out for criticism, I think you need to do that. Very you good. need to do that to improve your service. Excellent. Well, again, what an attitude because you write the positive and negative. You want it all and you want Absolutely. people to be telling you. So you can I'd rather somebody told me than tell 10 of their friends. That's, that's, that's the way. And if we can put something right, we'll put it right. Um, and if we can learn from any experience, then that's what we're doing. Incredible. Game of Thrones has mm. been a small hit. For the island, yeah, <laughs> for it's huge, it's going to be huge, yeah. Um, so, so loads <clears throat> happening there, uh, loads more opportunities, I guess. For loads, us. Uh, and and as as Game of Thrones itself is stretching across the different uh, countries as well. We seen we seen that Asia. In fact, it was the it was the largest illegal download in in China for years, until they they actually brought it to their screens. Um, Asian market is huge for the Game of Thrones. There's a lot of interest. I mean, we had yesterday we had fifty three on the on the coach for the Game of Thrones, and uh, forty eight of those were from China. Incredible. Yeah. We we were lucky enough to interview another um, person here, and they were saying the mindset of industry we need to change. It's not made in China, but made for China. And I, yeah. I thought that was so apt. You know, to change our minds. Yeah. And actually, we need to think of exporting out instead of just importing in no so. ab absolutely and and we're we're china ready as well we went through the program we're china ready as well um so we'll uh we'll know their their preferences you know there's no point in giving them cold water they don't like it a warm flask on the on the coach when they're ready um to take that so all those all those things you have to be aware of so northern ireland we've had a, an explosion in tourism which is brilliant uh, do you think there's enough people coming into the tourism industry for jobs, young people? Is it, is it attracting talent uh, or do you have a, a challenge in bringing people in? Uh, we, we, we have had no problem. Anytime we advertise a post, uh, we're, we, we get really good. We advertised a post, um, I think it was last week, and we've probably had about 25 applications. Um, so we, we haven't... We haven't found that challenge. Possibly in the hospitality, in the hotels, they may find that because just all of a sudden, you know, within six months there was a thousand rooms, um, and so having said that, speaking to a few hotels, and it's not what they feared. Yeah. Um, so I think I think they are getting the the That's post good. filled. That's good because I think yeah, when you you, know, you think of tourism as an industry. It actually is attractive. It is appealing. There's so much happening in it. It is uh, uh, probably the biggest, the biggest problem for us, and it's a UK wide thing. Is uh, coach drivers, bus oh. drivers. Um, they're 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 thin on the ground at the minute. Um, but that's a UK wide thing. It, that's found right across. You know, you can, everybody sees that. Um, so it's not unique to us. But that's that's our biggest problem. Getting good. Good coach drivers. It's a key, a key member of staff as well that you really want to find the, the yeah, best. Yeah, it really for. is, and and you know it's driving the city tours is just not like driving the public buses. You know, actually, people are on the tour to have a good time. They're there to be entertained. You know, it's an entirely different uh, structure from being on the public buses. So mm -hmm. you need to have that interaction between them as well. So you need to have outgoing staff. Exactly, you know, it's expected because you're right on yes, yeah. uh, people going to work, headphones in, but actually want to read the news. Or yeah, or they don't even want to be on the bus in, <laughs> in the first place. Yeah. They do, you know, they could be going to the hospital, they could be yeah. going to work, they could be, and they're maybe a bit grumpy, you know. I've been there, I've, I've yeah. done that, I've seen that. Um, which an, it's entirely different, it's, it's, it's a much better atmosphere to work in. Incredible, excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming in today and, and telling us about your business and what's happening. It's very exciting. Can't wait to see the, the tours grow and grow and grow in, yeah. the, in the years ahead. So if anyone watching this wants to book or find out more about uh, the company, where, where's best to send them? Really easy. Uh, I would First and foremost, I'd send them to the website, uh, citysightseeingbelfast.com. Um, but we also have, as I say, a shop in uh, Great Victoria Street, just yeah. opposite the Grand Opera House. And all our products are, are, are advertised and sold there. 
Excellent. Well, thank you again for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching this. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about uh, what's available here in Belfast. If you're local, make sure you go and check out the tours because I didn't even know what was available. And if you're not local, uh, you need to come and see Belfast in Northern Ireland. So again, thank you for watching this today. Uh, check out the links below, which will bring you to the booking website. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. So this is Kieran from Profile 3, the content marketing agency here at the Innovation Factory in Springfield Road in Belfast. See you tomorrow. Thank you.